Hey guys, it's Jenna. Welcome back. All right, so today I'm going to be testing out the Mac version of Good Notes 5. Now, um, I have had this app for a while. I had the first incarnation earlier this year, and not gonna lie, I was not impressed. It, um, you couldn't import images very well. It didn't handle linking whatsoever. Um, granted, it was beta, it was all beta. And then I got an email from um, GoodNotes saying that they were abandoning that project uh, due to rising market um, of the tablet version or something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was something that Apple was changing that they said, okay, what we're working on now is not going to work with this. So we're not going to be doing this project. And then randomly out of the blue, a couple of weeks ago, I got another email with a new download link saying, hey, surprise, here you go. Good notes five for Mac. And I'm like, that was random, but okay. So, um, I've played around with it a little bit, just enough to where I'm not sitting here fumbling trying to do this with you guys. Um, I'm just using this three month random planner that I made. Um, and then we'll just go to this weekly view here. And I'm just using the scroll feature here. So um, the link function I believe works. Just wanting to put a picture in here, hold on. Oh, here you go, you have to hit this thing. Okay, maybe it doesn't. Oh, it does. Okay, yeah, no, it does. All right, so let's get back to where we were. A lot of the features look and behave the same way as they do on the tablet. It's just weird to be moving a mouse instead of just touching. So we're gonna turn this back on. And then rather than trying to go back and forth between good notes documents, I went ahead and pulled up um, one of my kits just in my finder because as you'll see, you can grab and drop, which is an awesome, awesome addition. And then same as before, grab to adjust. Um, I think I might have a little more difficult time doing it here, not just for the lack of touch feature or the lack of pencil, but because when I'm planning with my tablet, my tablet's like right here. You know, I'm like into it with my pen. I'm, I'm like right here. My computer is like way back here. I could sit like this and do it and I might do that a time or two. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with some days. I'm just gonna drag them all. I wonder if I can multi-drag. Oh, it doesn't like that. Okay, no, you can't grab a bunch at once and pull them in. It does, however, if you'll notice, um, just like in the app, they come in all different sizes. Now, my workaround for this when I'm making GoodNotes files for my shop is typically if you drag and drop close to the edge of your screen, they'll all be, if not the same size, close to the same size. When you drop them in the middle, it's a crapshoot. You never know how big or small it's going to be. So let's go ahead and try to get these in place. And I'm not going to sit here and do like a full on plan with me because that would be frustrating. While I'm not a huge fan of this, it's just because of, oh shit, what'd I just do? Ah, okay, it's just because I'm not used to it. It's nothing to do with the program. This is gonna be my jankiest setup yet. Okay, so now we're gonna test zooming in. I'm doing the pinch out to zoom and it seems to be working. Wow, I wasn't even close. Okay.
you saw Saturday on there, right? Okay, so let's just drag a new one. Watch if I drag it here. See, it's not near as big. Oops, and now it's even smaller. Where's undo? There is no undo. Okay. Crap. Oh, see how big it got that time. And again, this is not... My sister is not me, or it's not the program, it's just me not used to it. Except for that Saturday thing. I don't I don't know what that was about. Okay, so there... It's back now! What the heck? Alright, screw you, Saturday. Okay, so here's our... This I don't like, too. In GoodNotes, on the tablet, when you're on a page, like, you have to work to get it to turn or if you do vertical or whatever here if i touch then it's like trying to scroll i don't know if i can lock it maybe view no tile window bring all to front hmm Let's see. If I right click, I can edit. Oh my goodness. But that's just doing this. Okay, so that's nothing. All right, so let's go. We'll bring in this frame. Okay, it doesn't like to zoom when you have something selected. It's probably trying to adjust the object. Wow, that's not even close. So let's see what the lasso tool is. Okay, so it's, it's pretty much the same. I just right clicked to bring up that menu instead of doing the long press. I mean, it's okay. Okay, so let's try to bring in some washi. So if I had my my tablet, not not my iPad, my actual tablet. Oh, it's way down there. I have a drawing tablet. If I had that hooked up, I think it would be easier to do this. I mean, it it's essentially using a tablet with a pen. So it's like the same thing as doing it on my iPad. But I think that if you're not either not used to using a tablet, if you're really proficient with a mouse, which I normally am, I'm just not this way. Or if um, you just prefer to use your laptop, I mean, it's totally acceptable um, alternative. And FYI, you can just click an image. You don't have to like right click to edit it. Let's try some text and see what that looks like. It looks exactly the same. So let's grab a font. Let's just use this one. Okay, you, if you, uh, you can't just like touch and move it, you probably have to lasso it. Yeah, you have to lasso it to move it around. So that's pretty much the same also. The pen, I mean, it's, I'll write with it, but it's not going to be legible. Wah! Yeah, same. I'm curious to see how it would be if I had my, my uh, drawing tablet out. So let's try to insert a photo. Can I? Yeah, okay. So if you tap here, it's going to ask you for a photo. Insert from. Let's see. I'll just do this one of my team. I mean, it's it it is. It behaves the same as 
it does on the tablet. That was different. There we go. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's functional. It works. Um, I wish just like with the tablet, I wish that it had the option to, um, work with layers, like to bring something to the front or to put something backward. Um, it doesn't have that, that I can tell. Uh, it, it does work though. Let me try to export. So you can do it as a PDF image or good notes, just like before. And it was fast. A 13.6 meg file went way faster on here than it does on my iPad Pro. So it's it's decent. I'm gonna give it a thumb and a half up um, just because it's not as intuitive as it is on the tablet. But again, and I know I keep saying this, but it is probably just experience. If I sat here for a couple of days and like really dug into it, got used to doing it with a trackpad or got used to doing it with a the mouse, then I think it would be very, very similar. It reminds me of um, Exoto with this scroll thing. Like if I could kind of snap it onto this page and have it stay here, unless I did like a serious swipe, I think that would be more helpful. Um, but it doesn't seem to want to do that. Everything though looks the same as it does on the tablet. It's got the same features. It's got the same um, settings. This plus sign doesn't seem to be doing anything though. Yeah, if I remember right, this is still beta. So there might be a few features that aren't active yet. But yeah, so I say if you can get in on it and want to do this on your computer as opposed to your tablet or your phone, it's definitely an option. I would do this here over trying to do it on my phone. So final verdict, I say if you have the opportunity, give it a shot. You might like it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.